Ah! Yes! Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. So, testing the OBS Phantom. It's a cheapo 225 centimeter casting rod. They also have spinning and shorter rods with the Kingdom Micro Monster. Throwing a 5 gram shave weight with a Supercontinent slug on a size 6 Supercontinent hook. Trying to catch some sea bass. Let's put brakes on maximum for now. Side to side plates at minimum. After 5 minutes I settle on the 3 brake setting. So we are on the on the river system but I think it's already brackish water. We are seeing carp jumping but my colleague already caught two small sea bass. Feeling some bites. I need to check my hook because I think it's not coming out working well, not even covering. Link some bites. Getting a lot of short strikes. Am I snagged? Yeah. Fixed. I want to catch a sea bass. A lot of acrobatics today from the fish. Look, a crow. Right there. Only one pincer. Going about his life. All right. The sea bass are probably very small. I don't know how well it will be on camera, but a lot of blow-ups. And in here you can see that I'm casting in between 20 to 30 meters with no problems, no hassling, just a bit of overspills on some casts, but nothing that I cannot manage in just under 5 seconds. Very, very, very good experience. Uh, better than my first Acura. I will not say the second, because the second is working properly. But this one seems a bit smoother, even though it's the old long shafted Dark Wolf Ultra variant. Now I'm working my presentation by reeling it in very, very slowly and giving a couple twitches now and then. Uh, it seemed to work fine for most of the nibbles that I got, so I continue with it. Oh, something's on! Yes! Small sea bass. First one on the channel. Stop. Don't spike me. Right near the chore on casting gear with the OBS Phantom and the Kingdom Micro Monster. Very, very, very nice. I will not measure this guy, but it's about maybe 14, 15 centimeters. Pretty, pretty cool. And I will let you grow until I can eat you. See you in about eight years. Again, super continent approach. Chev weight, small, I think size six EWG hook and a slug plastic on brown and snot color. The Built some drag on the micro monster. I can tell you, fishing with it for half an hour out of the box, it feels uh, how can I say? It feels a bit more sophisticated than the Acura, even the Pro. It, I, will, I will not say it casts better because it, it, it doesn't seem like it, but it feels more, uh, 
how can I say it? It feels well put together. I think this spot it's very very good for bank fishing because it's the place where you have less distance with ooh, between the banks which by logic means it should be deeper and you get some heavy traffic I think I'll go up the river we are not in optimum prime the tide is going down even though it's a very very high tide because we have a full moon so even the low tide it will be a higher quota than usual what let's see what's up in the river see in a bit the day was getting very very quiet as the tide was starting to get lower and lower so I started to talk crap with my friend because we had nothing better to do. Na verdade, já viste como é que os gajos pescam com com a potato? Com a potato. Os gajos escondem o olho do anzol lá dentro. Eles pescam Pescam, enfiam um anzol mesmo lá por dentro, como se... Eles devem pescar aquela merda como se fosse um tubo, ou oh, caraças. Isso foi o que eu vi, que os gajos pescam aquilo à volta de estrutura. Atenção que tem aqui relevado. Olha, agora, agora é toques. Mas coitadinho. Olha lá! Já está! É igual. Anda aqui no meio da salada. É mais gordo. Second one. Hmm, maybe better. Second sea bass, also small, maybe 17 centimeters. Ah. Everything is christened. Micro monster and the obvious phantom. Trout rod. Super continent slug. And even though we try to go up and up the rivers uh, until we find some rocks, the bite was dying because of the tide. So after like 30 or 40 minutes, we decided to pack our stuff and go after some different kind of bass on a nearby spot 
close to the river we just went there and tried to find some bass some large mouth and we needed to be fast because we had like 30 minutes or so to finish the day so this was just a quick stop to try to get some larges uh, in here we are on a good spot because you can see the wind it's coming to the shore that we are fishing but we didn't see any bait fish there I think they're probably cross there and carp and mullet so they are probably the main forage for the bass in here I'm still using the same bait still the super continente uh, needle worm needle tail worm I, I call it slug all the video but I think the correct name it's needle worm and just casting to the other uh, side of the bank and hook it killing a bit of drag Ella ah and gone now on a different spot with the difference of plastic this is like a creature with a pedal tail very very weird but it looks like a crow it was getting munched but by so small large mouth that they couldn't get the hook inside of the mouth until ah psych i spooked a uh, mullet and it just went flapping around you see the mullet going around but i knew that bass were there they were just Amazing. small and i had to give it some time to eat the lure and that's what i'm doing i'm just crap i got my line a bit up on the tree but i recovered it and now i'm just working very 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 slow and hopping the lure on the bottom on the middle of the grass trying to entice something to bite it yes i hooked something hey the bass nice finally a green one so we got a bit of surf and turf we got sea bass and normal bass so but it's a bass very 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 skinny i don't know if you can see and let's return this guy to the water he was eating because it engulfed the lure I felt it but nice work from the rod I think I have felt some nibbling before but either way very very good day two small sea bass one small bass a lot of fun OBS Phantom it's very well christened as well the, as the Kingdom Micro Monster overall I'm very impressed with the versatility of this rod and reel doing saltwater fishing kind of and bass very very cool but I'll see you guys next time ah! bye